What's up today, my fellow man soldiers? So what I'm going to be doing right now is showing you guys what you guys shouldn't be doing right now in order to get the most out of Madden 24 and also do what you guys need to be doing right now to be able to get the players and other things to be able to transfer into Madden 25 when the time comes. So I'm going to break it all down for you guys and do whatever you guys need to with this information. Please drop a like on the video. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So anyways, I was doing a few things right now, looking over some stuff and I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and do a video on this because this, this isn't something I'm gonna be doing right now. So we're gonna go over and look over different things when it comes to uh, rookie premieres in general. That ain't the only thing I'm gonna be talking about, but I know that's one of the main things on people's mind, especially considering that we're gonna be able to transfer some of these players to Madden 25 but it's not even just that some people just want to buy the players itself right so anyways going to get into that but i'm gonna i'm gonna get into some other things too so just stay tuned um because you guys are gonna want to hear this i want to make sure that you guys get the most out of it and avoid doing dumb things you guys shouldn't be doing right now all right so as you guys can see right now this is like the cheapest card up right now it literally, they literally just dropped it for a million coins. If you could spend a million on a rookie premiere, oh wow. The thing is, the, the, the thing is, is that I'm looking at rookie premieres as going for a million anyway, right? But that's not a deal. That ain't something you're going to be getting for cheap. That just usually what, that, what they average going to be going for. To me, a deal is going to be 900K to like 892K. Well, I say 892 because that's what I bought mine for. They'll probably drop lower. Anything lower than 900K, 900K to lower than 900K is going to be a definitely a good deal to, to basically, in my opinion, I wouldn't call it, really call it a snipe. But to an extent, it's going to be a good way to, like, that's going to be a snipe in my opinion, right? Like, because what happens is, I know some people are like, well, what are you going to do with all those coins? Well, first of all, some, I got to consider other people who don't got a lot of coins, right? I got enough coins right now to get my other rookie premieres, and then I'll be good into Man 25. That's not really the problem. The problem is, is making sure that other people will be able to save up and make sure they go about it right to to be able to get another rookie premiere and not just that people also want to have coins because madden 25 into like another month and a half and they still want to buy certain players that come out so that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to avoid i'm trying to help you guys avoid over uh spending or oh, basically overspending on a card because you guys want to still have coins so basically i want to be able to i want to make sure that you guys enjoy man 24 still and also look forward to man 25 for those who are going to be playing ultimate team right so these cards right here look at someone look at look at someone just bought this for literally almost like 1.2 million coins and this card up here is up for a million like i don't that was kind of that that, that, that was way out but anyways, this is literally 1,161,000 coins, right? For this card right here. So the guy played over uh, over an extra, close to 200K coins left. See, they just bought that one card for 1 million coins, which I probably should have, because that's about right. But I'm gonna wait though. And the reason why I'm waiting is because I know that even though these cards are outrageously overpriced right now, um, well, these are these are about usually what they go for here and there, right? But the reason why I say it's overpriced is because you could get them for lower, less than a million coins, and you could definitely get them like within 900k to a little bit lower than 900k if you're patient, right? But once again, you got some people who are just in a hurry; they don't care. It's like you know, I'm going and getting it done and just get it out the way, so I ain't got to worry about it. But me, um, I don't care. Like I'm gonna wait. I, I don't, I'm not gonna wait too long, but I'm gonna wait a little bit to to make sure. That I don't get stuff that's overpriced, but not just that. Also, my team is looking. My team is already stacked. I got nine, I, my team is the 99 overall. If I if I if I'm thinking right, every card on my team is 99 gold. But that's not the issue. The issue is I still want to get other players too that I like to want to throw on the squad, maybe do some gameplay and stuff like that. I just want to enjoy the uh, cards. What, what's left, and I don't want to I don't want to overpair it now because Madden 25 is around the corner. And yes, I'm gonna be playing college football and other stuff, but I'm also gonna be still making Madden content as I'm doing that content. So I will be doing content from both, right? So let's go ahead and uh look at they, they just bought that right now too. This is the stuff I'm telling you guys not to do, and these guys are over here showing you guys uh, my exact point right here. They're over here buying the cards up for whatever reason. Let me go ahead and uh bounce out. Oh, I should have kept it on Red Zone Royale. Let me go back down. And put it here because we're gonna check out some of these other cards like if, if you were to build a set because it takes uh six 97s in order to make 
um, 199 gold. There's rookie. Okay, here we go here. We're gonna go. Okay, the quality. So we're gonna go 96, 97, which will give us a nice sevens. So 177k. Let's see. Yeah, let's 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 see. We're we're gonna put a. Yeah, I think this is gonna be way over a million coins, but I I, I just want to see exactly if you were to actually buy these. We're gonna put 180k. Yeah, because I already know the overpriced and I already know what it is gonna be for the. Yeah, so it's basically one, uh, one million eighty thousand coins. If you were to buy the, if you were to buy all the nice sevens, at one hundred eighty k, right? So to me, in order to get the best deal, it's gonna be a, a hundred base scale anything under a hundred and fifty k. Anything under a hundred and fifty k is gonna be a great deal. However, however, even if you could get them at a hundred and sixty k. That would also be good because that's still under a million coins. That's 960, 960,000 coins uh, to build a 99 gold. So, so my thing is, if you could get them for 160k a piece and under, that's good. If you could get them below 150k, that's even better. Anything lower than that, you're, it's just the luck of the draw because someone's gonna have to accidentally put it up for cheaper, or just want to hurry up and get rid of cards for even I even even I don't know why they would put it up for any lower because if you put it up right now for 160k, they're gonna fly out. They're gonna people are gonna buy them off the top. So I'm just letting you guys know that too. And that's just for, and it goes both ways. That's for people who want to make coins right now and people who also um, want to buy these rookie premieres. So once again, do not buy, I wouldn't overpay for a rookie premiere. It's going close to about 1.2 million coins. I would wait until, until the value of them drops to under 960K. To me, I like sniping them for 900K and, and under. Like I haven't paid anything over. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and back out and see if I still got my bids. My bids ain't here no more. Yeah, my bids are not here no more, but the last cards that I paid for um, to build my first rookie premiere, they, they cost me um, two of them I bought for 900K. The other two I bought for 900 and I'm sorry, 892,000. So it, it worked out perfect for me. So the thing is, you just got to be patient and, and wait and then keep keep on check. Whenever you're on, just keep on checking the auction block. However, you also do not want to wait towards the end. And I, was, I know people are like, why well, come you don't want to wait towards the end? Because the longer you wait and you wait towards the end, you, you're risking the chance. Remember, there's not going to be too many deals no more. People are going to be buying too many packs. So therefore, Man 25 is going to be closer. So the cards are even going to go up even higher because of it. All right. So just keep that in mind. One more other thing that I want to break down to you. I'm not going to go crazy and go into detail. Um, we'll go ahead and just open up this pack real quick as a matter of fact while we're doing this. But I'm not going to go crazy and go into detail too much. But I do want to bring it up. Um is the fact that EA is giving all these uh, insane deals. Look at this, like people are like, oh man, this is a good deal. This is a good deal. Now here's the thing, it's it's a good deal, but it, it would be a good deal if these, if these uh, deals are going on about, we'll even say three months ago. If they're going on about three months ago, even two months ago, if these deals are going on two months ago, which would have left us like with three months and a half to Madden 25 release, this would actually be worth buying for those who want to buy packs. But buying these packs right now, unless you're just trying to buy rookie premieres and you just want to use cash in order to build the cards and go ahead and do it. But if you're just buying cards, but this stuff, it's, you're wasting it. Save your money right now. Like I said, unless you're really trying to build rookie premieres and you want to build them right now. But even then, man, if you're going to be building, if, if, if you're going to be spending money, I would literally wait to manage 25 and then buy whatever packs that they got available in the beginning and that's going to help your team a lot more than actually buying packs right now so that's one thing that i do want to say because people are looking at all these packs you guys see these platinum packs and everything else you know look at all these coins man and, and it really don't matter you can't transfer them to man 25 once again the only thing that's going to be relevant is the rookie premieres and the certain strategy cards that he's going to give us so i would tell you guys once again if you guys want to go basically outright buy the the rookie premieres then yeah buy the packs in order to do it but if you guys have coins like i do i'm not going to waste my coins on packs like I, I i'm just smart about how i go about spending my coins but anyways i just wanted to bring that up to you guys let me know what you guys are going to do and uh if you have any other suggestions on how to get these other rookie premieres cheap um um, if there's a certain day or time, whatever like that, I just keep on, no matter the days or whatever, I always keep on checking the auction house because you just never know when certain prices are going to drop or when someone's going to place a car for a lot cheaper. But anyways, there it is there. Please drop a like on the video. Till next time. I'm